Hey everyone, I'm Layla. I'm an intern at Oracle on the database tools team. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can connect your database created in SQL developer web to Visual Studio Code. Yes, you can still create your database in the web browser using SQL developer web. And it takes about six, seven steps to get it connected to Visual Studio Code. Let's get started. So first you're gonna to wanna to go to cloud.oracle.com and obviously sign in. Now, after signing in, you'll be brought to this Oracle Cloud homepage here. And if you've seen my other videos, I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this. Now we're gonna be clicking on autonomous transaction processing. So go ahead and click on that. And now to create a new database, go ahead and click create autonomous database. Now, after pressing create database, this is the page where you can configure all of your settings for your database. Let's go ahead and put in a display name. All right, after filling out your names for your database, go ahead and scroll down to choose workload type and pick transaction processing. After clicking that, scroll a little bit further down and choose a deployment type, pick shared infrastructure, even though that's the only option you can pick. Now scroll down a little bit further and it says configure the database. There's not much here that you need to change, so you can go ahead and just keep scrolling. And now the most important part of this video, we're gonna be creating administrator credentials that we're gonna be using to connect our database to Visual Studio Code. So make sure it's something that you can remember or write it down. After you've input your password, go ahead and keep scrolling down and you'll see choose network access. Go ahead and press secure access from everywhere. And lastly, choose license and Oracle database edition. The only option you can pick is license included, so go ahead and pick that. If you'd like to input an email for notifications and announcements, go ahead and do it right here. If not, go ahead and press create autonomous database here. And yay, we created our database. Super easy, right? Now we just have to wait for it to finish provisioning, which is basically like it's getting set up. And once this orange square turns green, that's how you know it's ready. So just give it about a few minutes. Now that the database is created, let's go ahead and get started tweaking some settings so we can connect it to Visual Studio Code. Now scroll down a little bit to access control list. We're gonna go ahead and press edit for this and add our IP address and make sure to press save. Since we changed a setting for our database, it might take a few minutes for it to update. And this here might turn orange, but once it's done, it'll go back to green. And once it's done updating and it turns green, you can scroll back down to access control list and you'll see that it went from disabled to enabled. Next, we're gonna go down below access control list to mutual TLS authentication. Go ahead and press edit and uncheck the require mutual TLS authentication. After making mutual TLS authentication not required, now we're gonna go to VS Code and download the Oracle database extension. Now that we're in Visual Studio Code, let's go ahead and search for the Oracle Developer Tools extension. Once you find it, it should look like this with the red Oracle logo. Go ahead and press install. After the extension is downloaded, a database symbol should pop up in the sidebar like this. Go ahead and press that. After pressing the database symbol, you'll be brought to a page that's empty like this. Here you'll see database. Go ahead and press the plus sign next to it. This plus sign basically allows us to add a new database connection. Now, this is the important part where we actually connect our database to Visual Studio Code. You'll see here connection type. I want you to go ahead and change that to advanced. Now, we're going to switch back to our Oracle database and find the connection string to insert here. Now that we're back at our database details page, let's go ahead and grab some information that we can use to connect our database to VS Code. First, we're gonna be pressing the database connections button shown here. So go ahead and press that. After pressing the database connections button, you'll be brought to this page here. Now let's scroll down to connection strings and go ahead and change this to TLS. Next, you're gonna to wanna to copy the appropriate connection string based on your application's requirements. Me personally, I always choose medium. So to copy, go ahead and press copy here. Now we're going to paste that connection string in this box here. Now after pasting that connection string, go down to password here and use that exact same password that you created to create your database. After inputting your password, go ahead and press save password so you don't have to insert it every time you want to connect to your database. Now go ahead and press create connection. And looky there, it says that Oracle connection was created successfully. Now let's go over to our database, admin2 for me. Right click that and go ahead and press connect. After right clicking and pressing connect, you should see these pop up here. And this is where you'll be able to create tables, procedures, functions, etc., for your database. Now let's create our first SQL file in our new database connected to VS Code. Now let's try to create a table called persons and see what happens. After writing your create statement to run the SQL query, go ahead and highlight it, right click and go down to execute SQL. And looky there, our table was created. Now let's write an insert statement to add some data. Same process as before, highlight and press execute SQL. And look. One row is created. Now let's write a select statement so we can view our table. And looky there, here's our persons table with John Doe added in. And that's it. Wasn't that super easy? I really just love how simple Oracle made this process to connect your Oracle Cloud database to VS Code IDE. I'm going to be creating new videos about Oracle SQL Developer Web, Oracle Database, and SQL in the future. 
So make sure to press subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my new content. Thanks for watching.